What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new here and I love to talk about all things Peloton cycling and fitness. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Sunday. Today's video is very, very exciting. I'm going to be taking all of season one of the Jess King experience, which is a Peloton cycling experience. So basically it's classes taught by Jess King. She just released like episode one or like the first class of season three she does it every single year where she'll release like 10 classes and it will be a season and what exactly is the Jess King experience Peloton describes it as shake off the week with Jess King and DJ John Michael with laugh out loud moments and surprises at every turn this 30 minute ride is the most fun you'll have on the bike and I've taken only like a couple classes of season two I didn't take every single class like in order but basically complete chaos. I think that Just King is super, super fun. It's really interesting because when I first started riding, I wasn't like the hugest fan of her. I didn't really take a lot of classes from her. And now she's one of my favorite instructors. I absolutely love her sweat study rides. I love like a lot of her just basic music rides. And I really have enjoyed the classes of the Just King experience that I've taken. They're just really, really out there. She brings very positive energy. And I'm excited to take a full season beginning to end. Now season one is quite old. The first class is from October 3rd, 2019. So there's actually people in the studio, which I think like Jess King thrives off of other people's energy too. Like her classes without people are also good, but having people in the studio does not bother me. I know it bothers some of y'all a lot, but I'm okay with it. So I think that it'll be interesting. It'll be fun to kind of see her interaction with the studio audience. And I'm excited to give you my thoughts on each episode or like class. I don't really know what to call it because it's like seasons, but they're just classes. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm expecting this to be pretty hard and I think it will be a really good time. So today I am doing strength. So I am doing a leg stack. So I'm just going to do one 30 minute Jess King experience ride afterwards. And it's the first one she's ever done from October 3rd, 2019. So I will go do my workout and then report back what I think of the first Jess King experience class ever. I know that it seems like season two has a way higher production value than season one. Like season two is actually crazy. Like there's lights, there is a DJ, there's definitely a DJ in season one as well. But I'm just really interested to see like what season one is like. So let's just get right on into this workout. The Just King experience was truly an experience. I really, really enjoyed that class. I knew that season one would be like lower production value, lower budget than season two. But honestly, I feel like Although that is true, she still really brings it in season one and it's a super fun class to take. It is definitely chaotic, but it's kind of an organized chaos. There's a lot of like fast intervals, which sometimes I like, sometimes I don't like, but I do like them in this class. It's hard to describe why I like some chaotic classes and not others. And I feel like it really comes down to, I like like organized chaotic classes. So even though we were like doing a bunch of different things in rapid succession, it still felt like she had organized this and had planned for it. And it felt like it worked in the moment. There were times where you were getting out of the saddle for eight counts and then pulling back for eight counts and then like alternating. And that was very fast. There was a dancing section which I think is like very common in her Just King experience rides. I know in season two she like taught us a couple moves for every episode and then at the end you could do the full dance. This one we kind of just try to do the full dance. Maybe she'll like slow it down in future episodes but I'm excited to see where that goes. I definitely think it's a fun idea to do like while you are doing active recovery to like kind of do a dance like break you out of the class. She also had milestone like minutes. I forget what she called called it but basically she's like three minutes try to ride a mile while I call out all of the milestones and I thought that that was like a really cool idea because three minutes for a mile is 20 miles per hour I don't find that like super easy but it's definitely attainable like I can ride 20 miles an hour for three minutes on the peloton so like 
it was cool because I don't really care about milestones, right? If it's not me, but it's nice that she can still call everyone out while like everybody else has a goal that they're like working to. So they're not really like focused on her calling out the milestones. So I thought that was a really good idea. There was a question answer part where DJ John Michael like read her questions and she answered them. And one of them was like, did you ever date Dennis? And I was like, what? <laughs> it was interesting that they chose that question. And I felt like it was fun. It was like a good time. It wasn't so long. Like she was giving pretty rapid answers, which I appreciated because sometimes with like XOXO Cody rides where Cody does that, I get kind of bored when he's like going on his little tangents. So overall, I thought that it was a really fun class. The music was awesome. Definitely like EDM, trappy, really got caught up in it. And the half hour just really flew by. Definitely not like the best technical ride, but I think it's a super fun ride. Like if you're not feeling it that day to just like jump on the bike or you just want a fun ride. Like sometimes I don't want to do technical rides. Like you can't do technical rides every day. So this was a super fun ride, made the class go by super, super quick. And it was just a really good time. My only complaint is there weren't metrics to follow along with the class. Like she would give metrics, but they wouldn't show up, which is not Jess's fault, it's Peloton's fault. I don't know if it's because it's an old ride or what. Honestly, I'm like not impressed with Peloton's like metric ability. I don't feel like it should be that hard. Like they should just be able to have somebody like to hire to do it. Like they don't need it to be like machine learning or like AI or anything. Like they don't produce that many classes. Just get somebody to like watch all the classes and make sure all the metrics are right all the time. But yeah, no metrics for this ride, which I actually liked in some points because it was so chaotic that like when she was just like recover, I just did like whatever I wanted and it didn't matter because I couldn't see what metrics I was supposed to be at. So we'll see if there's more metrics later this season, but no metrics is annoying, but not like end all be all for me. I did ride an echelon bike with Peloton app for like a year and that had no metrics and I survived. So I could definitely survive season one of Just King Experience without metrics. So those are all of my thoughts for today. And I'm excited to take the rest of the season. I think this is just going to be like such a fun video and it's just so different than anything else any other instructor is offering. So I think that that is very, very cool. It is now the next day and today is arm day. So I'm looking forward to that. I always like arm day. And then afterwards, I'm just going to be doing one 30 minute ride just to keep it a little bit lighter on arm day. So I'll be doing the second episode of season one of the Just King Experience, which is from October 10th, 2019. And I actually realized today when I was putting it in my stack, it doesn't even list out like all the different songs she's going to play. It just has generic artists, like a couple that she's going to play instead of like each song, which I thought was interesting, just means that it's a very, very old class. But I thought that there were like, besides the metrics missing yesterday, there were no like technical issues with the class. Like I've taken old classes that have been really, really messed up before. So I'm glad that these have like, maintain their integrity over the years. I'm not really sure. Like I've taken like 2017 classes where the classes like the audio and the video doesn't match up and it's like jumping all over the place. So glad that these are in good condition. I'm not sure what happened to those other classes, but I'm excited to take episode two today and see what's different from episode one. So let's just get right on into this workout. I really, really enjoyed that ride. First off, there were metrics, so they gave you the ranges above cadence and resistance, which was very nice, and I hope the rest of the rides have them. But I think what I really liked about this class is it really made you feel part of the Peloton community. It felt like you were just part of this like small local studio. Halfway through the ride, Rob and Arzan showed up on a bike, and they were like joking back and forth, and they were announcing that they were going to do a two-for-one ride for J-Lo, which I don't think I've ever taken slash new existed. So I hope that it hasn't been removed since then because I would love to take a ride with Jess King and Robin Arzon. They have great energy and it was just so fun to like see them interact and have Robin be there along with Jess. I'm really excited. I think that later on in this season, she also brings other guests, which I just think that that was like such a fun and cool and personal touch. Like imagine being in the studio and like Robin just shows up and is riding and joking. I thought it was so fun. DJ, John Michael, 
he's just so goofy. Like, he's just out here living his best life. Like, who is he? Like, him and Robin and Jess all seem like really good friends. But were they good friends before Peloton or did they meet through Peloton? I don't know. But I would love to know, like, what the origin story is there because they seem to get along so well. Besides that, the workout was good. I will say at the beginning, there was a rolling hill and she wasn't, like, calling out what cadence you're supposed to be going at. And I felt lost because basically like in the parts that you're in the saddle, you're going like 85 or something like very fast cadence. And then she's like, oh, out of the saddle at like 55 resistance. And I'm like, OK, I can't like still go 85 cadence. I don't really know what to do. So I just did my own thing and it wasn't the biggest deal. But I just don't like when instructors don't call it metrics. So that was definitely my least favorite part. But it was like a very, very small section. And then she did the milestone mile like right at the end, which I liked because I just like was like all right this is my last ride for the day like let's get it and I just pushed myself really hard so I like that it was at the end my only other complaint is very little dancing she saved the dance for the last minute and I'm like I need to practice this more I do not have the dance down so only one minute was a little bit sad but hopefully by the time that I am done taking this season I will be able to do the dance and yeah she answered questions again that was super fun and I just thought it was like a super fun and lively and energetic class and I think it would be such an experience to go in and take that class in studio like all those people I am jealous of them so that is it for today and I'm excited to continue this season this video I thought would kind of get repetitive because I thought that all of them would be somewhat the same and they are somewhat the same but they're also different at the same time which I think is like the beauty of Jess. It is now Wednesday which means I take a break from strength and just do cycling so I'm going to do a full hour of cycling a day which means two Jess King experience classes so I'll be taking the third and fourth episode. The third episode is from October 17th 2019 and the fourth episode is from October 24th 2019 and the fourth episode looks particularly interesting based on the thumbnail. I can't really tell what's happening but it looks like people are off their bikes and kind of all around Jess so I'm sure it will be an experience and let's just get right on into this workout. Both of those rides were very interesting in my opinion and very different. So the first one, so the third episode, Kendall and Tunde were guests basically the whole time. I feel like they got feedback from the second episode and people were like, oh, we like love the Robin segment. So now they're like, oh, let's get more Peloton instructors to come. They rode along with the class the whole time compared to Robin just came for like a little bit. And I thought that it was actually kind of distracting. They went back and forth quite a bit, which was fine. But I just felt like I wasn't getting that good of a workout because they were just constantly talking. So it depends. Like if you really like Kendall or Tunde, I think that you would enjoy this class to like see them more in a natural element. But I thought that like some of the magic was taken away. And I feel like obviously they were friends, but Robin and Jess are definitely closer friends and have way better on screen like chemistry than Kendall and Tunde. Like it wasn't awkward at all. I just felt like it could be better. There was also a Never Have I Ever segment, which it was like, oh, like basically get out of the saddle and sprint if you have done the thing. And I thought that was a cool idea, but the beginning ones were all like things that normal people would never do. Like, oh, like never have I ever gone clubbing with Alex Toussaint. And then at the end, it was like a bunch of things that normal people would do. So the beginning was like very easy for me because I never had to get out of the saddle. And then the end, I was like getting out of the saddle all the time. And I'm like, oh, this is like kind of hard and not balanced. But besides that, I thought it was like an interesting class. I probably wouldn't recommend or plan to take it again just because I didn't feel like at the end of the day, like even with my music rides, I want them to be fun, but I do want to feel like I'm getting like a decent workout. And I just feel like there was so much going on that it was like hard to focus on the workout. But if you want to be distracted from the fact that you're doing a workout, then you would probably like that class. And then the fourth class was a very big difference. Basically, the first 27 minutes was like a hard technical class. Like she didn't phrase it that way, but there were like no segments. 
months. There was not a lot of recovery. We were doing a lot of things that I couldn't hit. I feel like I've said this probably a thousand times now on my channel, but since I started doing strength, my cardio output has fallen drastically. But at some points it was like, 65 70 resistance out of the saddle at like 65 to 70 cadence and i don't think i could ever do that so that was a bummer and there were also some speed pushes that i was struggling with i just like wasn't hitting a lot of things and then the last three minutes they like performed time warp from rocky to horror and there were like a bunch of people in the studio and the, even the people on the bikes like knew the move so i was like did they teach them these moves before the class started or are they all like hired people and i'm like who are these people at the end she's like oh shout out to like the new york rocky horror cast so maybe those were the cast members i can't believe that they like got them to perform during this exercise class i don't know it was like very confusing and very odd in my opinion and then during the like three or four minutes of song i just like pedaled out the whole time also in that class we did eight minutes out of the saddle straight so if you do not like out of the saddle, I do not recommend that class. I thought it was kind of a cool experience just because I don't actually mind out of the saddle, but it's not something I would want to do every day. So these two classes were very different than the first two classes. So that was interesting and I'm excited to kind of see what she does for the rest of the season. But both of the classes today, I did not like as much as the first and second class, but I'm sure that the next couple of episodes will be completely different than the first four. So, you know, we're just here for the experience. It is now several days later. I started this video last week and then on Thursday, I went for like a weekend trip with some friends. So I have not ridden for a while now. It is currently Tuesday. So it's been like a little under a week and I'm pretty tired. I got back late last night and I slept in a little bit this morning and then I needed to catch up on some work that I missed but it is lunchtime and I'm ready to do my workout for the day. I find on days where I'm like not feeling a workout but I still like want to get one in I just change into workout clothes in the morning because then that will motivate me to eventually work out so I can change into something else. So like once I put this on I know I'm gonna do a workout. So now is the time and I'm very excited to continue Continue. I'm excited for the Jess King experience ride today. It should be fun. I'm definitely going to get some strength in today because I haven't done strength in now like a week. So I'm going to be doing 40 minutes of an arm stack from Hardcore on the Floor. And then after that, I'll be taking the fifth episode of the Jess King experience. It's from November 7th, 2019. And yeah, it will be interesting. I'm excited to see what she brings today. Should be fun. Should be something new. And let's just get right on into it. I think that that was the hardest of the Just King Experience rides I've taken so far. So we started out with a warm up, it was fine, and then we went into a rolling hill also fine and then we went straight into the milestone mile where you just ride for three minutes like usually at a low resistance and high cadence. That's what we did. It was fine but at this point I'm like Mm, some recovery might be nice and then we went into something she called shits which stands for seven minutes high intensity interval training which I guess she just drops the minutes for the funny acronym but wow that was really hard and the intervals were just not attainable for me at all so it was like 97 cadence all the time and then recovery was 30 to 40 resistance and then the pushes were anywhere from like 45 to 55 minimum like she's literally like 55 minimum 97 cadence and I don't even really consider like 30 to 40 resistance at 97 cadence to be that much of a recovery so I was not a fan and then we immediately went into the like dance moves but we were still doing the hit like intervals so on the recovery, you also were doing the dance. And I was like, I want to practice the dance. I think I've got down Just King's version of the dance now, but she's also like, let's do Kendall and Two Days version of the dance. And I'm like, this was literally from like several episodes ago. Like, I don't remember this. And then I also was just like dying because I couldn't hit any of the intervals. So then that was sad. And then we finally got a little bit of a recovery, which was nice and I really needed it. And then after that, we just had some climbs and then like more push is. like she called it Klobata because it was like climb Tabata which I know like I'm not the biggest fan of Tabata but like 
climbing I don't usually find that difficult like it was definitely still very hard but I felt like at least I could like hit most of these intervals compared to her seven minutes of high intensity interval training that I was just like literally dying during also during our like one period of recovery there was like what would Jess do segment where they just like asked her questions and she answered them and it was funny like it was overall a good ride it was just very hard and it might be because I had just taken like a while off of cycling so I'm just getting back into it but man, oh man, did that really not ease me back in. That was quite the hard class to take. But overall, not a bad class. And I would recommend taking that class. And if you want a hard class, I think that you would really enjoy this class. Like, it's hard, but it is like a good class. I was just sad because I couldn't hit the intervals for some of it. But overall, still a great class. And I'm excited that I'm halfway through this season. So we'll see what happens in the future episodes. It's now the next day and the bad news is that today is leg day and I'm still a little bit tired from this weekend so normally I'd like switch it up so I wouldn't do leg day today but tomorrow I'm actually flying back to Pennsylvania to spend the holidays with my family. I'll be there through tomorrow through like all the way till past Christmas just because if I'm coming home for Thanksgiving, like, there's no real point to just, like, fly back to LA for, like, a week or two and then fly back for Pennsylvania. And I like that I am so fortunate that I can spend that much time with my family during the holiday season. But they do not have a lot of weights, so my strength will go down. So I definitely want to get in one last strength sesh today. So it is leg day today, and it will be fine, I think. But then after that, I am going to take a 30-minute Just King Experience ride, the sixth one from November 14th, 2019. And in this thumbnail, there's Jess, and then there's another bike next to Jess. And on that bike, there's Dennis. And it's also Dennis with long hair because this class is very old, and I feel like long hair Dennis is just an era in itself so I'm very very pumped I hope that they're just doing a two for one honestly I think it would be super fun it's kind of amazing the pool that Just King has I guess I only took season two classes which were all already like remote and nobody in the studio but I think it's so fun that she's like bringing in all of these other instructors and it really shows like how much of a friendship she has with all these instructors that they're willing to come and that they have like a great time doing it so I'm very very excited for this ride today I think it will be a ton of fun and let's just get right on into this workout. I thought that that was a really fun ride. Definitely not as technically difficult as, say, yesterday's ride, but I still thought it was a super fun time. For the first 10 minutes, she just loved the class, and then Dennis came in 10 minutes late, which I thought was interesting because then he just stayed for the rest of the time, so, like, why wasn't he just there from the beginning? But it was a lot of fun. They had Dennis lead a little bit where he did a lot of, like, cycling on the left foot on the beat, which I think a lot of people, like, don't think about. Like, usually when you're on the beat you're going to cycle with your dominant foot which is right foot for a lot of people so it's nice for him to like call attention to that got a little bit of that work in they have really great like on-screen chemistry they're obviously having a lot of fun we went through some pictures of Dennis's hair growth and he actually says he grows it out to donate it and he doesn't actually like it that long which is really really selfless because I couldn't imagine having that hair and not being happy about it and also his hair looks so beautiful like he says that he never gets blowouts but his hair looks way way better than my hair so I definitely need some Dennis tips but the majority of the class is just kind of focused on talking to Dennis like you definitely still get out of the saddle you do some climbs you do some rolling hills you did the dance Dennis added to it so now we have Jess's dance Kendall's dance Toon Day's dance and Dennis's dance the dance is getting quite long but I have practiced Kendall's and Toon Day's a little bit more now but yeah, besides that, good class. Definitely one of her funner ones. If you like Dennis, 100% recommend checking it out. And I'm very excited to see what the next class is like. It is now two days later. It is Friday. I have successfully come back to Pennsylvania. This whole video is kind of chaotic. These past two weeks have been chaotic, but I'm ready to get back into the Jess King experience. Just because I was flying yesterday, my schedule's kind of all out of whack today, and I definitely need to get into like a better workout routine because now that I'm home again, I don't have a lot of weights, but I wanna keep doing strength, so I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that. 
but today I'm just gonna do two rides, no strength, just have an easy day. Like no strength is an easy day for me. So the first ride I'm gonna do is the seventh Just King Experience episode, which is from November 21st, 2019. And I see Jen Sherman, Matt Wilpers, Christine Duracol and Alex Toussaint in the thumbnail along with Jess. So I think that this should be like a pretty chill but fun ride. I really, really like Alex. I mean, I like all of them, so I know that it should be fun. It's just amazing like how many instructors show up for her class. And then after that, I'm going to be taking the eighth episode, which is from December 5th, 2019. And somebody is lit up in this thumbnail, but I actually can't tell who it is. So I don't know who the special guest is. It will be a surprise. So let's just get right on into these two rides. For the seventh ride, Olivia Amato was also a special guest. She was just cut out in the thumbnail because there were so many instructors there. But basically for the first 20 minutes, it was just a normal ride. Jess actually didn't interact with the instructors that much just because there were like so many, I think, that she didn't really know what to do. At one point, they did go around and say what they were thankful for because this class was really close to Thanksgiving and like that was a funny segment. And then the last 10 minutes, Alex Toussaint came out and played the drums and we rode while he played the drums, which was kind of funny and entertaining. I would say the first 20 minutes were actually kind of hard. There were a lot of long pushes that were like kind of high cadence and kind of high resistance. I feel like those are the pushes that are the hardest for me because kind of like max power. But then once Alex came out, I think we did some like Tabata. It wasn't that bad. I would say it was a pretty average class for Jess King, which is still like pretty hard in terms of difficulty. And then the next class, the special guest was Andy Spear. And at that point, I don't know if this is still true, but Andy Spear was like training Jess, I guess, for strength. And they had a lot of interaction. Andy went way deep into like the chemistry of what's happening in your body during like pushes and recovery. Don't know if I understood all of it, but it was like kind of interesting to listen to. And it was obvious that they had a very close relationship. So that was cool. And again, I thought it was like average difficulty. There were definitely more longer pushes and she referenced sweat study a lot in that ride but it like was not a sweat study ride I think she was just trying to like get people interested in taking her sweat study rides which I think is interesting because now I feel like her sweat study rides are just as popular as her just king experience rides like I see a lot of people really like the sweat study rides and I do too so at first I was excited because I thought it was just going to be a sweat study ride in her just king experience but it was just a lot of longer pushes but had a lot of recovery too so definitely not the same format as Sweat Study, but it was still a good class. And if you like Andy Spear, I highly recommend Same Goes for like all the other instructors that were in the seventh episode. If you like any of them, I would highly recommend. Definitely they talk a lot less, but the Alex Toussaint playing the drums is fairly entertaining. I will say in both of the classes today, she didn't do a lot of her segments. Like she did the Milestone Mile where we like ride fast for three minutes in both and we did dance segments in both but besides that there were like no other segments which is interesting because some classes she does like a ton of segments and some she barely does any and I think she's just trying to figure out like how to structure the class still and like get into the groove so I am ready for the last two classes tomorrow I feel like the finale will be especially a big one but we'll see it's now the next day it's Saturday but it's actually like close to 4 p.m. jet lag for some reason this time it's just really kicking my ass I don't know why I usually have not affected that much but I've been sleeping super late like I usually wake up at like 7 a.m. in California but I'm waking up at like 10 a.m. here which makes sense but I don't know I'm sleeping very late so I had to run some errands this morning but now I'm ready for my workout I don't typically do like afternoon nighttime workouts but gotta get it in today so today I'm going to be doing a 10 minute core workout and then afterwards I'll be doing the ninth episode of the Just King Experience which is from December 12th 2019 and then the last episode of the Just King Experience, the season finale from December 19th, 2019. And in the ninth episode, you just see Jess in the thumbnail. And then in the finale episode, I believe it's DJ John Michael in like an LED light up suit. 
So really interested to see what the last two are like. And I think it'll be fun. I have really high expectations for the last one. So let's just get right on into this workout. Honestly, I was not impressed with either of those rides. I feel like the beginning rides or rides where the other instructors showed up were a lot better than the last two. The ninth episode was basically not a Just King experience ride. It was just a Broadway ride, which was really random. Like she had no segments at all, no miles to a mile. We didn't even do the dances. It was just Broadway music, which was fine. It just wasn't what I was expecting and it was like kind of disappointing because I like her Just King experience rides and I feel like I wouldn't consider that to really be a Just King experience ride. My guess is that they didn't realize like how big those rides would become so they didn't like take season one that seriously but overall I would say episode nine was pretty forgettable and honestly like you could just skip it and then the 10th episode the finale was definitely better but it still wasn't my favorite she did have her girlfriend Sophia which was cute and then I guess the guy that like recruited her to Peloton and then another Peloton worker who's like high up now and was there since the beginning riding in studio. So she interacted with them a bit, but not much. And then we did do the dance in the 10th episode, but I believe that was the only segment. She did have like some cool LED lights in the last episode. And both the episodes were like good workouts still, like, especially since I did this ride in the afternoon, I had more energy. So I got a little higher output than normal, which was nice. But overall, I was not impressed. And if you're only going to do a couple episodes of the season, I would definitely not recommend either of these, really. I guess the last one is, like, kind of cool. And it's really cute to, like, see her with her girlfriend. And she kind of reflects on, like, just saying yes to doing Peloton, even though she had never done cycling before. And, like, how that was such a big leap. And now, like, look how great it is. And it's also cool because she's like, yeah, like... I was there when we had 25 people on the leaderboard and now we have 1400 people on the leaderboard and now it's like they have like 20,000 people on the leaderboard so that's so cool how even then she thought it was such big growth and it really was and now there's even like more growth and I'm very happy for her like it's a cool to watch back and see how excited she is from Peloton growth like before it has really even hit its big peak of growth. That is it for this video. Let me know if I should take season two, season three, if there's other instructor specialty rides that you want me to take like a full season of. This was definitely fun and it's cool to like have all these rides to take, but I did definitely miss a lot of new live rides that came out that I want to take very badly. So now I have a bunch of rides I want to take, which is also very exciting. Out of that season, I would definitely recommend the instructor rides the most. I think Robin's ride was probably the best with Jess King and then I also liked when they had Alex and he was playing his drums. Honestly the Dennis ride was good, the Kendall and Tunde ride was good. All of the instructor collab rides super good in this season and I definitely would still recommend overall taking the Jess King experience. I hope you guys are staying safe, having an awesome week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!